They marked two years since the deadly crash in Kaka'ako police say was caused by speeding and alcohol. The victims were at the intersection of Ala Moana Boulevard and Kamake'e Street when a truck plowed through. Three people died. Six others were hurt. Tonight, friends, loved ones, and Honolulu police returned to the scene to share a message with the public. Max Rodriguez has more in our top story. The Honolulu Police Department set up an impaired driver checkpoint once again this year. This is near the site where three people tragically lost their lives two years ago. It's a loss that Melissa Lau says she'll never get over. It's still just like, it's just the, the images are so traumatic. You know, I'm never going to get that out of my mind. And seeing the images on the news, seeing the images in the newspaper, people talking about it, so many people want to tell me about what they saw. And it's, it's not easy to hear those things. Travis Lau, her husband, was among the three people who lost their lives. He was an anesthesiologist beloved by his patients and peers. People say the driver was speeding and under the influence of alcohol when he plowed through a crowd of pedestrians. A visitor from Japan and a visitor from Pennsylvania were also killed, while six other people were injured in the crash. Senseless, tragic, uh, until something like this affects you, you're not going to understand the severity. Uh, but, you know, two years ago this date, we suffered the loss of three lives at the hand of an impaired driver. Lau says she wants her husband's life not to be forgotten, and she wants others to see the pain a loss like this one can cause. You know, we didn't drink, we didn't drive recklessly, we did everything right. We never ever thought something like this would happen to us. Lieutenant Slater says he will encourage the checkpoint to continue every year at the date and time of the tragedy. Driving impaired is unacceptable, and until we change that as a culture, as a society and say it's not acceptable anymore, We're, enough is enough. Um, you know, these kinds of things are going to happen and we need to stop it. The driver was charged with three counts of manslaughter. His trial is scheduled for next month. Max Rodriguez, KHO2 News, working for Hawaii.